So I wanted to come on here and talk about this latest Derek Chauvin update, which actually is a very good update if you ask me, but I'm not going to get my hopes high just yet, but I think it's actually a step in the right direction. Now, I know I didn't come on here and do a video talking about the other three pigs that was involved with the murder of George Floyd um, a while ago. I should have, but I didn't, but I'll just go ahead and mention it here. Yes, the other three terrorists that were involved along with Derek Chauvin himself, were indicted on their particular charges. Now, their trial starts in August, and the sentencing for Derek Chauvin, I believe, is in July, because I think it was supposed to be in June, but they extended it because they were trying to get something because of that black juror that went to a protest wearing that shirt, but I don't think that one's going to have any legs. And after what just happened, what I'm about to read to you, I don't think that's going to even matter. Because I honestly think if they went back and did a whole new trial, the outcome would have been, still been the same. I'm going to just be honest. Now, this new update that has come through is saying that a judge ruling has allowed for a longer sentence for Derek Chauvin in the murder of George Floyd, meaning they have found some additional information that they could pin on him towards this case uh, to give him a longer sentence. Now, mind you, we don't know how long his sentencing is going to be. That's why I said I'm not jumping for joy just yet. Um, so we won't know what his sentence will be until his sentencing day, which won't be to like, I think the end of June or sometime in July. Cause remember it was supposed to be eight weeks from the time he was found guilty, which means we would have found out in early June, but they pushed it back. So, you know, we're sitting on pins and needles right now, just waiting to see what he's actually going to get. So that's why I'm not like leaping out of, of the window with joy for this. When it happens and it comes down and it happens, then we will go further with that. So I'm going to go ahead and read this article. It says the judge who oversaw Derek Chauvin's murder trial ruled Wednesday that there were four aggravating factors in the killing of George Floyd, a decision that allows the judge to give Chauvin a lengthier prison sentence. Chauvin, the 45 year old former Minneapolis terrorist, was convicted of two counts of murder and one count of manslaughter last month for kneeling on the neck and back of Floyd, handcuffed and lying prone on the street for nine minutes and 29 seconds. He could face up to 40 years in prison for second degree murder, up to 25 years for third degree murder and up to 10 years for manslaughter. Chauvin has no prior criminal record, so Minnesota's sentencing guidelines recommend about 12 and a half years in prison for each murder charge and about four years for the manslaughter charge. In this case, state prosecutors ask for a tougher sentence that the recommendations provide, citing five aggravating factors that they said applied. Chauvin's defense attorney, Eric Nelson, said those factors did not apply. Judge Peter K. Hill ruled Wednesday that four of the five factors were proven beyond a reasonable doubt. He found that one, Chauvin abused the position of trust and authority, and two, he treated Floyd with particular cruelty. The slow death of George Floyd occurring over approximately six minutes of his positional asphyxia was particularly cruel in that Mr. Floyd was begging for his life and obviously terrified by the knowledge that he was likely to die, but during, the in but during which the defendant objectively remained indifferent to Mr. Floyd's pleas, Cahill wrote. Cahill also ruled that three children were present during the offense and four Chauvin committed the crime as a group with the active participation of at least three other people. On that fourth point, Judge Cahill wrote that the three officers, I'm sorry, terrorists, two, two thou or two tau, Thomas Lane and Alexander King were actively involved in the incident, but he made no findings as to their intent or knowledge. They have each pled not guilty to charges of aiding and abetting. However, Cahill rejected the aggravating factor that Floyd was particularly vulnerable, noting Floyd had initially resisted arrest. He also ruled that restraining Floyd in the prone position did not create a vulnerability, but was instead the actual mechanism of his death. Chauvin waived his right for the jury to decide the aggravating factors, instead opting for Judge Cahill to do so. His sentencing is set for June 25th, and he is currently being held at the Minnesota Correctional Facility Oak Park Heights. The sentences for all three crimes will likely be served at the same time, not consecutively. Generally, when an, office, when an offender is convicted of multiple current offenses, concurrent sentencing is presumptive, according to the guidelines. Chauvin faces other legal issues as well. 
A federal grand jury indicted all four former terrorists in connection with Floyd's death, alleging they violated his constitutional rights, according to court documents filed in federal court in Minnesota. Chauvin also was charged in a separate indictment related to an incident in which he allegedly used unreasonable force on a Minneapolis 14-year-old in September 2017, the Justice Department said in a statement. And based on that one, too, and I didn't do a video on that either. Apparently, he had his knee on that 14-year-old neck longer than he did Derek Chauvin, but not to the pressure point where he died. But I think they said with that particular team, his was well over 10, maybe over 15 minutes. So he was there for a long time. So he has a history of doing that. So that's why they're linking it. And let's not forget again, and even though it's separate, he still has them fraud charges along with his concubine ex estranged wife. We ain't forget it, well, I didn't forget about it. But yeah, like I said, this is all good and all, but I will jump for joy when, you know, he actually gets, the, I want him to get the maximum of everything. Everything that they say he is up to, I want him to get the maximum. So if it says up to 40, I want him to have the whole 40. If it's up to 25, I want him to have the whole 25. Up to 10, I want the whole 10. And I don't know what the, uh, what these other four factors are going to add on to his sentencing, but whatever it is, I want the max for that as well. I want it all. I want him to have it all. That way, you know, he doesn't see outside ever again. Where he where he's at right now, unless they transport him, is exactly where he's going to die. Wherever he lays his head is where he will, you know, sp uh, spend his last days and take his last breath. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. And I'll talk to you in the next one.